thing in. He is planning to be in a bike race and to walk again. Yeah. And in the meantime, you also want to drive again. You got rid of your old car. You need a new yeah. car, but with, with some special devices, right, to help you drive yeah, it. Yeah, I want to get a car equipped with hand controls and everything. It costs about one to two thousand dollars to do that and everything. Unfortunately, the only thing I won't be able to do is drive a clutch again. <laughs> well, that's all right. As long as you can drive. That that's be, right. That'd be a lot of fun. We introduced your parents before, Clarence and Marianne. Didn't mention that they have been married almost 53 years. You're one of 12, the oldest yes. of 12 kids. So although you are single, you have a lot of nieces and nephews. And with the money that you make, you'd also like to maybe help them out a little bit because college is around the corner for some of them. So. Oh, yeah. Being the good uncle that you are, That's Larry. right. I'm a good uncle. You are a good... And you're also a very good millionaire player. You're yeah. only seven away from a million dollars. Let's take a look at those categories. This is what you're up against. Okay. Still have three lifelines. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. All right, let's play. That clock is set for 30 seconds once again. Medical disorders, $16,000 question. A disorder in which a person perceives objects as shrunken Lilliputian hallucinations derives its name from what novel? Gulliver's Travels, The Hobbit, Don Quixote, The Canterbury Tales. Okay. I think that's a, that's a pretty good one and everything. The answer is A, Gulliver's Travels, final answer. That was the name of the little people. You have it right for $16,000. Ah, now, do you like a glass of wine? Occasionally. Well, okay. I cook it, more with it than I drink it. All right, well, <laughs> I don't know what the category means. It says wine. $25,000 question. Big one. Which of these types of wine is not named after the grape from which it is made? Merlot, Riesling, Pinot Noir, Burgundy. Okay, I know Merlot is a grape, and I know Riesling is a grape. Pinot Noir is definitely a grape. Uh, I think I can reason this out. All right, the answer is D, Burgundy. Final answer. Cook with it, drink it out of the bottle. You got it for $25,000. Yes! Yes, to get three here, years. and in a matter of minutes, you're five questions away yeah. from a million dollars, Larry. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling right now? Oh, well, I was glad to have, have all the lifelines left going to this level, because I know they're going to get a lot tougher, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, and you have three lifelines left. Phone a friend, double dip, and ask the expert. You're going to go for $50,000, but we're putting up the time now and the clock to 45 seconds. Right. Because as you pointed out, the questions will get more difficult for $50,000. The deepest lake in North America is a Canadian lake with what name? Great Satan's Lake, Great Heathen Lake, Great Slave Lake, Great Harlot Lake. 36 seconds. All right, for this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and ask the expert. Okay, we're freezing that clock at 27 seconds. Let's get our expert, $500,000 millionaire winner, Ogi Ogus, who will contact with a free face-to-face -face Skype video call. Ogi, great to see you. Hey, Meredith. Hey, Larry. Hi. Ogi, you are a phenomenal, phenomenal player. Thanks for coming back. As I mentioned, you, you actually saw the million-dollar question when it was your turn in the hot seat. Decided yes, not to go for it, even though it ended up that you were right. So you're the right guy to have here with Larry because you know he's going for fifty thousand dollars. No money. Feed, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna feed you the question now, Ogie. How bad do you want this answer, Larry? Bear? <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. <laughs> Very badly. What do, you, what do you think it is? My guess right now is uh, Great Heathen Lake B, but uh, that's just a guess right now. Well, I'll tell you, I, I'm not 100% sure, 
but the only lake of these I've heard of is Great Slave Lake. And I don't know why I would have heard of it if it wasn't exceptional in some way. I'm 98 percent sure I'd say. 98 percent. All right, Ogie. Ogie's saying 98 percent Great Slave Lake, only one of those lakes he's heard of. Larry, you were leaning toward Great Heathen Lake. You have 27 seconds left. The clock starts now. Oh, boy. Oh, he's a good player. I do have two lifelines left. 15 seconds. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to, for a guess, double dip. Double dip. We're stopping yeah. that clock at eight seconds. It is a free guess, you're right, because even if you get both answers wrong, you will leave with $25,000. Yeah. Give me your first answer, please. Uh, C, Great Slave Lake, final answer. Don't go any further. Great Slave Lake it is. You oh,